Hello, good morning. Hello there. It's Lindsay and Peter, isn't it? From Edward Bear, hello. Yes. <laughs> oh, we're not where we normally are, are we? We're certainly not. <laughs> we're in our camper van. We are. We're on our holidays. We are. <laughs> we're seeing our new grandson, Ralph. Yes, we are. And he's just a baby. We're really pleased to see you, and we think we ought to start by singing our song, don't you? We're pleased to see you at Edward Bear, Edward Bear, Edward Bear. We're pleased to see you at Edward Bear, at Edward Bear on a Thursday. First of all, we come to church, come to church, come to church. First of all, we come to church at Edward Bear on a Thursday. We light the candle and ring the bell. Well, we've got no lighting of candles today. And we've got no bell we've got in any our bell camper. We no, we haven't. I suppose. <laughs> but we can still know that Jesus is here with us here. Yeah. We're in Cambridge and he's here with us today. <laughs> and he's with you where you are, even in our camper van. Absolutely, right here. So if you're <laughs> feeling very, very happy today and you're feeling a big smile on your face, then you know that he's there with you. What does, what does Janet say as well? Janet says, yep. the when we light the candle at yep. church... Yep. We bring Jesus into our heads, heads in our minds, yep. into, into our, our hearts, hearts, and he's all around and us. everywhere around us. He is, yep. everywhere. And should we do a bit of a ding-dong? We can't ding-dong. Okay. We can't. We have no bell to ring. <laughs> but we'll have to do that next week. We'll do it extra hard Absolutely next week. Absolutely extra yeah. hard. <laughs> but when we light our candles, we always think about people who, are, who, are, who we love and who perhaps aren't feeling mm. too well today as well, don't we? We think of one very special person, don't we? Well, we do think with a big candle. Yes. Well, we always light the big candle for Jesus, don't we? Do, we? Don't, do you remember? Mm. Yeah. But absolutely. then we light another little candle, don't we, for our little friends, oh, yes. and people we love who perhaps aren't well. So if you know yeah. someone today, or might have a birthday, or has a birthday, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> or a special reason to be happy, or a special reason to be happy. Perhaps you've had a very special something special to happen. Perhaps somebody's come to see you, you haven't seen for a long time, or. Perhaps you've not yeah, been very be. well and today yeah. you feel better. You're feeling better today. <laughs> okay. The doctor said everything's okay. Yeah. So we hope that's, <laughs> that's the case anyway. Well, today we normally now do a little prayer, don't we? We've been saying a prayer for quite a few weeks, haven't we? We have indeed. Thank you for the world so sweet, isn't it? So shall mm. we put our hands together? Well, let's do that, shall we? And we yeah. close our eyes and we say, Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Amen. 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 Don't we? That's, That's the bit Edward likes we do. very much. Well, now, mm. we have got a very special thing, a new story today. Oh, we have, yes. It's <laughs> called Boris the Balletic Dancing Bull. <laughs> That's Shall a very long it? word, isn't it? Balletic, isn't it, Peter? It's a good word for a bull, Have you got ballet <laughs> shoes? <laughs> Have you? Can you dance? Well, this Get is ready all to about dance. Boris. <laughs> okay. Tilly loved being in the toy cupboard with Edward. You might remember she came along last week. Penelope and all the other toys. On some days, when they all sat about, Tilly asked if they had ever invited Goosey. As she could often be heard honking in the field next door. Edward thought about this, and he remembered how all the children stood against the fence one Thursday morning, with their parents to watch a new calf arrive in that very field. This is a good story, he said to the group, and went on to tell them the story that he's never forgotten. After the Edward Bear praise and play service in the church, one spring morning, the cows in the field next door were all standing together, right in the corner near the church centre. We could hardly believe it, said Edward. There was such a commotion. They all seemed so excited that we all gathered round to watch. The mums had picked their children up into their arms and were also looking out of the window of the church centre and some had rushed outside and were standing leaning against the fence watching. Well, before our very eyes, a calf was born. It just appeared right in front of us. The mother cow was lying down on the grass and all the other cows were very interested and began to examine the new arrival. Well, which seemed to come in a special bag that all new babies come in. 
Yeah. Before long, this special bag had been licked away. Cows have very rough tongues, you know, and this little calf had been washed with their tongues before you could say, parachute jump, which was often in Edward's mind as a former skydiver. Well, said Penelope, who had been brought up on a farm, this happens all the time. So what's so special about that, she asked. Edward continued. I tell you, we all thought this would have been so exciting as many of us had never seen any baby born. But then we saw this great big bull who is often in the field and whom we've nicknamed Boris, as he is often in the field. He came across the field to see what was going on. Boris the bull came right over and took a long look at the new calf. Boris was enormous and the calf, well, so tiny. What happened next was such a surprise to us all. Boris suddenly got very excited. He licked the little calf and nuzzled it tenderly, despite his great size. He then put his head down to the ground and, unbelievably, skipped around while he raised his head high in the air. He did this several times as if to say, I am the proud dad of this new little calf. Take notice, everyone. This is my newborn calf. And Edward was now getting excited. Edward added, Boris the Bull seemed to be just like a ballet dancer. As he swirled and skipped around the cow so carelessly, so carefully, and yet so passionately, that he could have been performing on the stage in a ballet at the Royal Opera House in Covent Garden, London. Wow. <laughs> The cow seemed okay with it and the way Boris was behaving. Perhaps they'd seen it before. And then almost as soon as Boris arrived and celebrated this wonderful event, he settled down and returned to his favourite patch in the field and took up the job of grazing and being the one in charge. Penelope thought about this and was the first to say how much in the church everyone is loved, but how children are so special reminding everyone that it was Jesus who always said that everyone, from the very tiniest to the biggest, the oldest to the youngest, were all very precious. That's the story, Mum. <laughs> wow, what a lovely story that was, wasn't it? And I remember being there that morning when we saw, Bo we saw all the children. It was a children. very exciting yes, sunny morning, wasn't it? Was, it was, and all the mummies picked up their children yeah. and they went to the fence and they looked, Sam stayed in the hall and they looked out of the window. They did. And there was this little calf just popping into the world. And Boris seemed such a big bull and yet he just was so calm and gentle, really. He was so dainty. He was all so three proud. tons of him, you know, and everybody cavorting knew, around. They did, they knew what they were doing. And that's like what it's like when you have a new baby too at home. Mm. Have all the visitors, don't you? They come and see. Mm. It's lovely, actually. Thank you, Peter. We do. <laughs> we <laughs> don't cuddle. lick them with our tongues. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. no, no. But that Mama was really anyway. nice, anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I think we now need to sing another another song now, oh, don't yes. we? Okay. And uh, we're singing one we sang last week because singing Jesus loves me this night. Oh, yeah. It's a good one this week, isn't because it? Because Jesus loves us all, doesn't he? He's got room in his heart for everybody. Young or old. Absolutely. An animal or a human being or, 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 a, or a crocodile or, or, or a giraffe or even a worm. <laughs> Jesus loves everything, doesn't he? Or a spider. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Even or a tarantula. Even, even, yeah. Is it enough now, Peter? Do be Thank quiet. You. Okay. Thank you. Are you ready? Big breath. Yeah. Jesus loves me, this, this I, know, I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Once more. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. So remember, 
Mm. Whether mm. you're whether you, when you're feeling a bit sad or a bit down in the dumps or whether you're really happy, just remember that Jesus does love you. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? We'll see you next week, and we'll be home in our in our in our office. <laughs> and Edward and we, will be back. And Edward will be there, and, and the Skippy. bell, and the candles, and yeah, Skippy, everything. and everything. So until then, have a lovely week. Yeah. Take Bye, care everybody. Of